Hello everyone, this is Sakshi. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. So, as promised, in this video, we're gonna be talking about CAT in the NCLEX, which is Computer Adaptive Test in the NCLEX format. And we will be discussing about how the test is conducted and what are the requirements, as well as what is the reason behind conducting the CAT. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. So in the last video, we have discussed about the NCLEX examinations, its exam patterns, as well as what are the things that consist or what are the things that makes the NCLEX exam. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing about CAT. So as the name suggests, CAT stands for Computer Adaptive Test. In this test, the computer will find your eligibilities and determine your competence according to the selection or for the selection of RN that is registered nurses and to the or the PNs that is practitioner nurses. So now let's have a look to the computer adaptive test in detail. So as its name suggests, the computer will adapt according to the exam taker, which means if you have given the right answer, the computer will find a difficult question for you or if you have given the answer of that particular question wrong, the computer will find an easy question for you. Which means that if you have given any question right click or answer right, then the computer will find a difficult question. And this all will be decided about the criteria and all these questions are based on the passing standard. In the NCLEX side, I have discovered a lot of things and there is a video given here. And I want to show you some clips of that video and we will be learning about that, that what is the reason behind doing the NCLEX thing. So what we will see that, uh, let's take an example of, a, of two girls preparing for the gym. In this book, you will be seeing that there are a lot of weights and these weights will be denoted here as the number of questions you will find. If you have uh, taken the weight and so the computer will give you the more, more tougher question and if you are not able to get the or have that weight, the computer will be finding an easy question for you and as here, the trainee will find a low weight for you. So after passing, or uh, the questions, all the questions will be aligned in the computer itself and it will uh, try to find that what is your passing standard as shown in these pictures too. So after that we will see that um, the goal of the NCLEX or the computer adaptive test level examination is to identify the candidate's competence which means like here in the weightlifting examination you will be given to two different kind of weights and many kinds of weight and they will find that what is the weight that you will be able to have so this is why the computer will determine everything and your every ability there are several different kind of questions that will come in your examination and they can be very tough to normal easy questions too in several questions you have to select all the things that are applied which means that uh, the question will ask you or give you a condition in which they will give you at least eight to nine multiple choice questions eight to nine multiple choice options and in which you have to select all the things that are right which means in the eight options you have to select uh, the right question which can be from two to three right examples or the choices as well as from eight to nine choices too so this will be determined about the ability and you will be also said or you will be also directed to arrange these things or your directions or your actions in the level or in the time or according to the action that you will perform from the starting to the end so it is a difficult t level examination and we will be also learning about how you can start your NCLEX examination preparation in the future videos but uh, what we have to make sure is that if you are a nursing student and you are an early, early bird in the nursing field like me uh, we can what we can do is that we can start preparing for the NCLEX examination from the beginning too so what we have to do is we have nothing to uh, worry about what we can do is we can start reading all the things from the first year to the fourth year of our degree courses and we will have to give the proper condition and we have to give the proper concentration for uh, every book or every subject to our nursing courses which will help us to create and to give this examination the NCLEX examination is very costly exam 
and uh, it will be conducted across the whole world. So it will be a very difficulty level examination and it will need a lot of hard work. So firstly you have to make sure that you are giving the NCLEX examination with all your concentration because there is no chance of getting back to the question again. Which means that if one time the question has gone away, then you will not be able to get that question back and you have to write your question one time for one time. The NCLEX exam will consist of 65 questions to 265 questions and the exam will be exited or the exam will be finished or completed when the computer have determined your abilities and competence for the registered or the practitioner nurse. The test will be continue or the questions will be continue to come across you till the computer or till the requirements are made and the decision of pass and fail of your examination is made by the computer. Skipping and returning is not allowed as well as no need of any computer requirements or any computer knowledge which means in the 15 minutes of starting your NCLEX examination you will be guided with a trial version of 15 question and you will be guided with every step that you have to take and how you have to give the complete examination so there is no need of a computer practice from the starting in the NCLEX or the CAT exam preparation. so after that we will see that uh, questions are written to address the level of cognitive abilities, abilities of client need as well as integrated process which means it will include all the cognitive abilities including the knowledge, understanding, applying, analyzing, synthesizing, evaluating or generaling or concluding, concluding the thing as well as lastly creating or generating the new outcomes. So we will be learning about these things in detail into the next video but here we have learned about the names of the cognitive abilities and we will find that it includes the cognitive abilities, integrated processes and the client. After that we will see that how the test works or what are the condition or how the exam will be determined or how the computer will be able to determine that you are able to pass that examination or not. So there are some different kind of uh, things or the criteria which determine your competency which means it also includes the time interval that you are taking for answering each question as well as it also includes the uh, your level of cognitive abilities and client needs that you are applying to the answer or to answering the question which means if you have given the answers right and above the passing standard the exam will be closed and if you are not giving the answer above the passing standard the exam will be continued or the computer will be continued to give you the question uh, which is the maximum number to 265 questions in the RN preparation or for 205 maximum questions for the PN or the practitioner nurses examination. So uh, for getting more detail and if you have liked this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Do give a thumbs up too and share it with your friends too. This is Sakshi. That's all for today and I will catch you in the next.